All right, I'm all hooked up. Gotta go pick something up. Over at my buddy Brian's place. I needed the manifold that's gonna go in the lake. It was being built in Baton Rouge. But what do you know? Brian's whole crew was in Baton Rouge moving stuff to Georgia. They snatched it up for me while we're there. It came from AWB. They make the Slim Jim plate. That's all it is. Instead of putting a bunch of loops in the lake, we set those in there and they act like a radiator. So let's get a closer look when Brian gets it off the trailer. What up, it all? What's up? Not too much, man. So is that what, uh, is that what a whole bunch of money looks like? Paper thin. That's crazy, ain't it? I might just swim it out there. They got your box. They got your box. Oh. How you gonna get the stack the same? I'll talk about it when you get it off. thin plates that act like radiators you set them in the water and you can get one big one but you'll see i've got four instead of two big plates that's called it's like a uh, the slim jim because you set them up right in the water and i wanted to make sure i have plenty of water over top of them we were close we could have probably got by with the four foot but better off you know for doing this not worrying about it later I need a flat trailer I had a deal on one and somebody beat me to it the other day but I need to just uh, do it I don't think I'm better clear your fender no I was just saying on the camera uh -huh. there was a flatbed 20 man it was like a 24 foot for like three grand the other day a flatbed and I missed it I wanted, you know, that's why a I bigger. Need. Oh, without the size. Do your yeah. size break down? No, that's why I need. It's heavier than it looks, ain't it? They have a whole bunch of papers and stuff on it for how long it lasts and everything. Uh, well, outlast me. So, you know, one of those things that uh, just makes the system, it makes it very efficient these guys have done uh, a few other ones i'll link to their youtube or to a youtube channel that they've been on before you can kind of see how it works and then in a second after we get this unloaded we're going to talk to brian and we'll talk about what we're going to do or how this uh gets installed in the pond so that okay so let's get it figured out all right what were you asking brian how we was going to how, was gonna, how are we going to install it? Yeah. So how, do you, how are you going to hold them to the bottom of the lake? Got it. Okay. So you, there's PVC pipe that gets tied to it. Mm -hmm. And that lets you float it. And once you get it exactly where you want it, you start pumping water from the HVAC, from the geothermal units. Uh -huh. And the water in it weighs, it, weighs down. it down. And you flood the PVC pipe. And then it sinks to the bottom. And then... Nice. Uh, so we'll make a little cage around it, mm -hmm. and then it'll just sit on the bottom. And then the fishies will love it because they'll put off heat. It'll be heat. So they'll be hanging out. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's it. That'll be cool. 